Thanks, Doug. Well, first in the news this week is a new paper reporting on an amazing new specimen of a trilobite with a very unusual feature. This specimen is a member of the genus Wallyserops, a trilobite found in Morocco that lived during the Devonian period and is famous for possessing trident-like structures on the head segment. Well, this new specimen actually possesses four prongs, not just the usual three, and is used by the paleontologist studying it to show that previous interpretations of this remarkable structure as some kind of feeding structure cannot be accurate and that the trident structure was likely sexually selected, which, from the looks of it, seems quite expected anyway. The paleontologists also compared the shape of the trident structures to what's seen in dynastine beetles, finding that the morphological space occupied by both are relatively similar, adding further support to the idea that tridents were used for intraspecific combat like these beetles used their weapons for, and showing that this sort of behaviour, jousting with weapons on the head, has been around for 400 million years. Also in the news is a very cool new study that looks at the presence of interesting anatomical structures called uncinate processes in extinct animals. Uncinate processes are bony prongs coming off the ribs of most modern birds and crocodilians, and have a role in increasing the efficiency of muscles used in respiration. Well, this new research has been able to establish osteological correlates of uncinate processes on the ribs of living archosaurs, meaning they can recognise the presence of these processes based on the rib anatomy alone by studying living birds and crocodilians. And then they apply this to various extinct archosaurs in order to see if some fossil species might have had cartilaginous uncinate processes that wouldn't have fossilised. Well, they found that at least 19 extinct archosaur taxa had these structures, and that they were definitely ancestral to dinosaurs and possibly even archosaurs as a whole, and therefore uncinate processes, as well as their respiratory functions, had an origin long before the appearance of birds. Well, that's it from me for this week. Back to Doug in the studio. Thank you.